Welcome, friends of the Crawfords. We're just after having a fantastic lecture with Matthew Weiss. Welcome, Matthew. Thank you. You were just speaking to us about um, a fantastic story of intrigue and mystery and how sometimes something is right in front of you all along and it takes hundreds of years, apparently, for you to realise that it's been there in front of you all along. Absolutely. Yeah, no, thank you very much for having me. It's, it's always a pleasure to talk to the friends. And yeah, like you say, it's just it's something that's so topical this year because it's being celebrated in Florence. Um, there's a big program of events over there. So I think it's nice to bring it over here um, and, and yeah, just learn something that is that is so often overlooked. Um, but when we when we look at it from that perspective, it really it, it helps us to reappraise something that is quite familiar. And yet the more we look at it, the more we realize that it's actually a little bit unfamiliar in some ways. So um, I really enjoyed the talk. It's, it's great to be back here again. And, and um, I hope I hope the friends liked it, too. I think from their turnout, we can definitely say that they did. It was a fantastic turnout. And as you say, we've looked at Michelangelo's work in with one view all the time. And thank you for giving us a whole new appreciation for another style of work that he had in his early days. No, you're very welcome. Yeah, it's 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 on the mind of scholars nowadays. Uh, I mean, current, and I'm I'm speaking about writings that came out in 2018 and 2020, um, from really prominent sculpture scholars that actually are aware of the fact that we don't understand his early work as much as we should, and and we need to just adopt these different art historical lenses in order to understand it. So, the idea of trying to look at Michelangelo from different perspectives and trying to understand him as somebody who was not just inspired by one style, by one body of work or by one era. Um, it helps us to, to get, a, get a richer view of this artist. And of course, he was so influential. Um, it helps us to understand a, a whole period by, by better understanding him. Well, listen, thank you so much, because a lot of the friends here, um, as we saw, some of them have actually seen the work that you're talking about. And um, it was great to see that they're after getting another whole story behind it. So thank you very much for your time today, Matthew. And we look forward to you speaking again in our next lecture series in the autumn. So thank you very much, Matthew. White. Thank you too. It was my pleasure.